others than how. Yeah, I earned my motherfucking position. Yeah, I fought for my motherfucking slot time. Salute me proper with. Two L's up. Two L's up. Two L's up. And if you locked up, put your. Two L's up. Two L's up. Two L's up. I'm the low life general, past and present. Big, big low with the Mac 11 to match the denim. Master Dedum. Madam, madam, when we ran through Ransom. Brownsville, BK, built my strength. Other projects claim we killed their friends. City streets, sneak creep, don't go dumbin'. Told you last song that po po coming. Earn my respect, play my position, never change my flag, never claim the religion. I'm a low life, two L's up. Loyalty means they don't prove their trust. Love is only good if it comes from the heart. Twice team ever seen, ain't no bumps on my squad. Don't give a fuck about who say what. Even the messengers, them two get touched. Hate it or love it, I'm an aim with your stomach. Take the money out the luggage, motherfucker, don't be stubborn. Put your bitch on the strip. Pumping ass, full time staff. Thick calves, splash for cash. Thirst and howl. Race the rules, got it locked on the jungle with a crate of cools. Just for the record, let me set it straight. Our models, money hoes, close since 88. Salute me, proper with. Two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. And if you locked up, get your. Two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. And when you got love, put your. Two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. No one can stop us, get your. Two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. Mr. Miraculous, walk with a bop. Subway mugger, I can spot a cop Vigilante, graveyard shift Even in March 6th, I'm God's gift Passion of Christ, flashing your knife In biscuit battles, you won't last in a fight Celebrity deathmatch, cut off your mustache Red rain everywhere, that's a bloodbath I'm a salesman, with a sharp IQ Super trite CEO, and I'm high too Eat your food like free lunch, 46 bus KP rush, stop toys are us Nobody got caught by the task force. What you got stabbed for? USA, that's the Garvey Ralphie kids, it's the Johns. Strength in numbers, we form Voltron. Head arm, leg a leg a cheddar, cheddar chaser. Break it, break a breaker. I'm greater, greater. Scored camcords from Stanford. Low mention real estate. I'm the landlord. Frauds got evicted, trying to mimic. My life, no gimmicks, you can't live it. Two L's up, the house that rap built. Racks to riches, now stack mills Go hard, bow guard, bum rush the show Like I hit BFO, gotta touch the dough Flip it, invest it, rep it, get the message Young and restless, emergency exits I escape, close call for cake No heart, you scared straight Paper race, shook money Don't make no money Plus I take every penny, I'm hungry Alert, low life, out of control Even behind bars I stole Salute me, proper with two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. And if you locked up, get your two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. And when you got love, put your two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. No one can stop us, get your two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. Salute me, proper with two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. And if you locked up, get your two L's up. And when you got love, put your two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. No one could stop us. Get your two L's up, two L's up, two L's up. Heat wave, heat wave, heat wave. Yo, yo, heat wave. Before we go any further, I want to hand out the award for MVP of this whole shoot, the most vintage polo. My nigga Wigslow got the crown for this one. Ah, <laughs> no doubt. Yo, so hold up, I see your face. This is gonna be vintage for a long time. So Listen, man. He got the crown this suit on how he came on how he came through. He shut everybody down and some niggas came through hard, but he got the crown for this one. We gonna all bow. We gotta bow. Remember how we do the king shirt? We <laughs> bow to the everybody bow to the to everybody the, bow down. down with the vintage shit so that we can bow down. down. Wig slow got it. Turn around, show him the back now. Now show him the, the, the back. And I'm gonna just say a small piece. Show him the back. This is hold on, right here. Hold on. Oh, this is I gotta show right you. Here. Before hold that on. though, I gotta show you 
who was the runner up, the one who almost had it. Let's flip it though. He Let's almost had it. it. Flip, though. The first move. Oh. Oh. Legendary low lifes, yo, yo, low. Why do we have to come out here tonight? Tell me the importance of Rack's book that just came out. This book came out tonight. It's like the second, uh, it's like the second version of the book that came out. First came out with the first book. Rack came out with this one. So we just put some more aspect on what we was doing in this polo culture that we grew up in. Talk, talk to everybody like your position. See, that's the shit I do. Real and low. You know, you're from Garden. You know what I'm saying? How did that uh, uh, blossom from what it is today to a universal international movement? Well, you know, I guess how we put it down. I guess how we put it down. We put it down so hard. Yeah, I'm a big one's picking up on it there, but they know about it. You know, at the time I had gotten kind of incarcerated, and when I was going through my incarceration, I had all my pictures, and people were seeing my pictures out there locked on the street, and they were liking it. And then you had my homeboys in the street, they started laughing and all that. Then you had my cousin, like my cousin, he's black right here. He gets a real black, you know what I'm saying? He was going to college, you know what I mean? So everybody making moves, he's going to college in Virginia, so he's taking it out there. You know, so it, get, it got picked up by a lot of people, a lot of different people, a lot of different cultures, and they was just liking it. They see how you put it together, and they want to emulate it, you know what I mean? And they start going up to there. Now, when my homies them start rapping, other countries, you see, they, they was seeing what's going on. Don't know how, but they were seeing, they understand what's going on, they know who we are. You, you might not even know who they are, but they know exactly who you are, you know? And, you know how did you feel about the resurgence of everybody starting to wear low again, let's say around 06, 07, 08, when it started to come back into fashion? It didn't bother me at all, you know what I mean? Because people that did it for the time, for that time frame, they came and they went. Because you know when you see a person that's truly into it, you see how they got their whole fit put together. You can tell he's truly into it. You can tell somebody just doing it for his pop in the season. You know so. And Robin Lynn ain't going nowhere, so they always gonna catch some people that gonna jump on the bandwagon for a year or two. But you know. No doubt. So as one of the original members after over after over twenty-five years, a quarter century, what is one of the or would you say is the primary important aspect of the love and loyalty movement? Uh, just 
Show them that equestrian mitt though. With the turtleneck and all that. This is like, this is something like that. Just took us to go. Yeah. What's up, Reese Black? Show with the yeah, sauces, yeah, I just man. Went on, I just went on. Flag up. An American flag, you know. That's just how I did it tonight. No doubt. It ain't like we got dressed to come out here. It's just, it's just how I be in the closet. It's how it is in the closet. All my shit is just going to school. There's no way. I don't know why I do it, but shit, it's what I'm used to, it's what I like, and they make everything, down to my slippers, to my boxes, to my pajamas, to housewares, shit's just right, you know what I mean, it's what I fuck with, I fuck with Gucci, I fuck with a lot, a lot of kind of shit, but 99.9% is falling on all the That's what it is. Low life style. No doubt, yo, Lee. First of all, tell us about that. That doesn't look like a low life hat right there. So tell us about that. Yo, right now, you know what I'm saying? My name is Malik Low. You know, I represent many schools of thought, many ideas, many, many, many degrees. You know what I'm saying? This right here is what you call the universal crown. to low life and to rap since we're here at his book release. All right, so uh, I came through because I was already on the scene. I was already on the scene doing my thing, you know what I'm saying? Where you from where? For, and where? I'm, I'm, I'm from Brooklyn, but I moved out, I moved out of the city mad early when I was young, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my parents, they didn't move to move out here. So we moved to Jersey, so even though I was in Jersey, I was still coming back out here doing trips, you know what I'm saying? I was still Like what a particular name was, you just knew the story. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I'm just like, alright, yeah, whatever. Whatever. After that, it was all downhill. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in the like I was fan. You know, I was getting out of the car. So I brought what I already knew and what I was learning back out to church. So when I brought this, this LL thing back to church back then, because the only cast that was friend with like in Jersey at that time was cast that was coming from Brooklyn, but was still going back out to Brooklyn. I was one of the only ones that was in Brooklyn, I mean in Jersey, you know what I'm saying, that was still living out there, that was right on that side of the bridge. Who else was over there with you at that time? My uh, man, uh, Reese Man actually, he went to school with my man Jay, Prince. Okay. They used to go out there and catch me out or whatever. It was only him, the only one that I knew. Other than that, it was just me and him. You know what I'm saying? And at the time, I was living in North because I was going to college. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I did a lot of foul things, still my lesson self, but I was never an idiot. I, was, I, I went to college. You know what I'm saying? So, me being living in North, I was bringing it out to North. And again, like a lot of people didn't believe the story. Like, nah, matter of fact, a lot of cats was telling me, like, nah, y'all go like me, he's Puerto Rican. I'm like, what are you talking about? The only Puerto Ricans that rock with us is Vic and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, but it right. was dealing with the unknown. So, people didn't know because it was just a word. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Ski Black, so, we got to introduce that's, you that's in this, we, Black. That's how we brought it through. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's how Cass got down and, and you know, that's how Cass introduced it on, yeah, yeah. On, on the Jersey side yeah. and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, everybody was still catching wreck and doing what they had to do. You know what I'm saying? So, it was all love back then. A dot was on guard with armor upon ready. We stomped upon Freddy and locked his arm steady. Pull the core placement, the rapper had a choice. Grab the cash, stay mad, hungry, lunging at the boy. Shun the sun after annoyment, the one that rap was enjoyment. The boy that lacked what his dad and his grandmama had told him. Grew up with the long shot, dark spotted hockey mask. Shot off a of Glock, Mossberg, and a cocky stance. Knocking on doors, popped the wrong person, then he bounced. Penny bounced on him. The boy's little sister, employed with the scripture. Horror ultimate genre, swimming, forming his daughter. That fro was mostly an honor to meet Sadata and knock off mobsters in the town. Record a murder soundtrack in Will Tell's basement. It's a murder soundtrack. <laughs> Fish. 
Shorty real laying it down Shorty real good Shorty real sweet Shorty real enough to take part in the symbol heat Shorty real gully Shorty real raw Shorty was showing up check your chin if you had flaw But shorty real righteous Shorty real smart Yeah shorty a real soldier cause I got hard But the truth I'm spitting see Watch me take it and go Yeah I got that militant flow But shorty real with it A little gangster with it How did you come up with your name? Uh, well, it started off as Shorty Real back in the day because I'm short. I'm only 5'1", so I, I joined that, that club, <laughs> the Shorty Club. And uh, every time I'd be out, people be like, yo, Shorty Real, you real. So, so I just took the name Shorty Real. And then like maybe six years ago, I decided to change it. Um, I started building with the gods on the earth, the nation of gods on earth. Shout out to the nation, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. Um, and they actually uh, enlightened me, and, and that's one of the steps you choose your name after you finish the student enrollment. And um, I chose Infinite Wiz. Infinite Wisdom is the full attribute, and because I feel like I'm always learning and always growing, and that's wise words, ways, and actions with everything I do. So infinitely, Infinite Wiz. <laughs> so the Machiavelli name. Yeah, after Infinite Wiz. Well, before Infinite Wiz, actually, under the name Shorty Real, I put out a mixtape, um, Matt Hervelli. And I use a lot of Tupac's beats because a lot of people would be comparing me to Tupac, like female version, I guess, because I, I did listen to a lot of Pac. I'm a Pac fan. And um, I guess it's like embedded in my flow a little bit. So I took like uh, Hail Mary, Pitch Me Rolling, um, a couple other joints, Pac joints, put it on a mixtape called the Matt Hervelli mixtape. And um, I've been pushing mad units since like, I would say I dropped that in like 2009. And then from 2009 till I've been like, I got it online, you know, I'll be pushing on the street. That's how I like make, basically pay bills, you know what I mean? I just gotta, you know, go to any block in the world and I can sell my mixtape. And a lot of people know me as that. So it's Infinite Wiz, AKA Shorty Real, alias Matt Hervelli. That's the whole title. Once again, coming to your live, Brooklyn's number one hip hop video show, Bless Me Video, representing the best in hip hop and dance hall video every single Friday night. What's up, what's the deal, what's going on? It was maximum crime The Bronx, we had to rumble with rivals on the rubble While buildings around us would crumble uh, But yo, my life began last year Southmore High School, that summer I saw her Said to myself, she'll be my wife soon That's how we're gonna go down, do or die One out of four human beings with their hands on bars, shackled in the world are locked up here in the land of the free. Khalif Browder was walking home from a party when he was stopped by police. Then they said, we're going to take you to the precinct, and most likely we're going to let you go home. And then I never went home. 13th Amendment to the Constitution makes it unconstitutional for someone to be held as a slave. 
are exceptions, including criminals. The loophole was immediately exploited. What you got after that was a rapid transition to a mythology of black criminality. Some people got the real problem. Animals, beasts that needed to be controlled. You better believe it. I'm only human. It became virtually impossible for a politician to run and appear soft on crime. The kinds of kids that are called super predators. Millions of dollars will be allocated for prison and jail facilities. Three strikes and you are out. It was an enormous burden on the black community, but it also violated a sense of core fairness. Some people got the real the states were required to keep these prisons filled, even if nobody was committing a crime. It's so difficult to talk about mass incarceration because it has become heavily monetized. The focus is on taking people from prison, putting them in community corrections, parole and probation. How much progress is it really if now there's a private company making money off the GPS monitor? now have more African-Americans under criminal supervision than all the slaves back in the 1850s. We are the products of the history that our ancestors chose. Products of that set of choices that we have to understand in order to escape from it. After all, don't put the blame on me.